everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. Today, painting another character from Zombie Side Green Horde by Simon Games. I'm back from holiday. Hope you guys have missed me as much as I've missed you. So we're painting Sally today. She's the sort of elf hero character from the game. And I'm just showing you there. I've primed her in Barbarian Flesh, a colour primer by the Army Painter. That's because she's got a lot of flesh on this model and it's just going to save me a little bit of time not having to paint in her skin tone. We're going to move on to Filthy Suit. That's the light grey. Army Painters again. I'm going to try and use Army Painters Zombie Side set for this entire model. That's This is the game that I first started painting with and that's the set that I used to paint with and I think it goes really really well with this game. If you're new to painting and you're unsure what to get, I think it's a good place to start. I've got a lot more paint since then but I think just having a range specifically designed for a model you're specifically painting, I think it's a great way to start. So I'm painting Filthy Suit. I think these parts of a clothes, so these are for a sort of arm sleeves and a leg leggings as well and I think um, that's quite a light grey a whitish colour so I'm painting it filthy suit which is a lot darker than I want to begin with and that's because I'm going to try and avoid using washers in this video it's a little bit interesting I normally use washers but I think uh, as well as mixing up the painters so there's myself Austin and Benson painting I think it's nice to change the techniques entirely and you can pick and choose which one you prefer so on this one I'm going to try and use avoid using washers and see how that comes out and that's just to give a much cleaner look to the model and because she's quite pale in the flesh tone that's why I chose to do that in this model I always think washers make them look dirty especially around the skin so I'm just getting filthy suit back out there that's to paint her top which I, did, I didn't know she was wearing a top mm. uh, and it was necromancer's cloak for that sort of skirt she's wearing dead black that's the black army paint and zombie side set again and that's just for her shoes and I'll also do the base in black so she's wearing some sort of um, flat shoes I don't know very trendy and I'm just going to paint that in black and not I don't mind at all how much I get on the base because I'm also going to do the base in black I'm going to use up the paint that I've got out just now switching back up to my regiment brush so so far that's all been with army painters detail brush that's the only bit of the model I'm going to do with the regiment brush just the base this is a small fiddly model I think leather brown army painters brown it's Dar lighter than dirt splatter it's the leather colour use that for the sheaths of a sword and all those um, strings she's got so next I'm going to mix prison jumpsuit abomination gore and leather brown about 33% of each and that's to try and make that orangey brown hair colour that she's got it's not quite ginger it's not orange it's sort of browner than that but still quite bright so mix those three together and I've come up with this sort of just off orange for the for the base colour of her hair, which, I, as I said, I'm not going to be shading. So that's as dark as her hair is going to go. We're going to highlight up from there. I'm also going to paint on those tassels that are on her leggings and the, the sort of wrap that goes around her leg. Now, I, I can't see on the model that that detail exists. So I'm sort of freehanding that. She's got a couple of crosses on there as well, which you, I can see on the models. I've painted those on quite easily. But yeah, those strings around, it was a piece of cake to do. It's very nice and easy to drag your brush across and, and, and get those bits on. But I couldn't see the detail myself to actually paint on top of. I'm going to use bright gold. That's for the gold parts of this model. So that's the handle for a dagger. I'm also painting her entire dagger that she's got out of, out of the sheath. Just gold. It looks gold. It's missing off the top of the art, so it's, it's not super clear to tell. But I think it looked like a gold blade. I'm going to use machine gun metal. That's the darker of the army painters silvers that I have and that's to paint on those buckles on her shoes uh, she's also got some bracelets on both her hands and she's also got these little dangly metal bits on her on her skirt they, they look really nice actually a nice little detail touch to the model that I think looks a little bit plain at the end it's just greys and <laughs> greys and skin so all the metallics are really good put some time into those bits just showing you filthy suit I painted the back of a necklace I thought it was a necklace in silver but it's actually just the back of a top that I, I'm like blind to her top it's a uh, it's weird I apologize <laughs> but yeah that that should have been filthy suit so you could have done that much earlier on just uh, I painted it silver survivor skins out so I'm just touching up parts of the model where the the spread my um my barbarian flesh was running a little bit low so it didn't come out as as nicely as I'd like it to do so I just touched it up a little bit there before I go on to highlighting. I'm going to use brain matter beige and that's to paint a sword. In the artwork this looks like a sort of bone sword. I mean it could be a light silver but I'm going for bone. It's nice and interesting. Like I said I want to try and show you different things in these videos so if you disapprove of that paint it silver by all means but I'm going to show you how it looks when I try and paint it bone. So I'm going to move on to highlight the flesh. 
I, as I said, I'm not really going to use any any shade where I can. So on the flesh, I'm using no shade whatsoever. I've mixed in about 50-50 Brain Matter Beige and Survivor Skin together here. And I'm going to just start highlighting. So quite generously, all the raised parts, I'm going to add, add this highlight to. After that, I'm going to mix more white in. So going down to about a third um, Survivor Skin now. So this is pretty much nearly white. It's just a, a hint of pink. And now I'm being very, very careful using my insane detail brush. I'm just going to go paint all the very most raised parts. So that's like all of her ribs, uh, the, the center of all the muscles across her back, the edge of her sort of hip, her thigh sticking through as well. So I'm making a fire <laughs> quite quite bright there. And then I'm going along all of her fingers and her thumb and stuff like that. And that's 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 the end of uh, end of highlighting the skin. And it looks absolutely fantastic in person. I don't think that comes across as well in the video, but it's really, really clean. This is one part I am gonna use shade for, and that's that bone sword I mentioned. And that's because in the artwork, it looks like it's brown towards towards the hilt. I'm also going to use the same shade on the skirt just to darken that down just a, just a little bit. I don't think the shades affect dark colours anywhere near as much. I think it always looks fantastic on the dark colours. So I'm just getting some on that necromancer cloak there. I'm also going to tarnish that blade just to try and make it look a little bit more interesting. After that, I'm going to be taking Filthy Suit and Brain Matte and Beige, mixing those 50-50, so making a lighter grey. And I'm going to go around all those grey parts we did previously in Filthy Suit. So that's her leggings and those arm sleeves and her top as well, which I, I kept forgetting. But I've remembered this time. I'm just going to, again, quite generously, all the raised parts everywhere except the recesses, basically, in between the folds of her trousers and like sort of in and down the inside of a leg where the light wouldn't be going and then this is really similar on the arms as well there's lots and lots of folds so i'm highlighting up the, all the flat areas of the cloth all the tops of the fold just leaving the dark bits in the recess of the fold and then last we're going to add a highlight of just brain matter beige this by the way this paint is heavily watered down so i'm just building up tiny layers upon layers upon layers and because it's so watered down it's quite translucent so if it looks too light when it goes on, it, it dries and it's semi see through. So it's sort of blending really, really nicely together. So I'm just using Neat Brain Matte Beige, my insane detail brush. That's the smallest one I own. And I'm just going to go along now all the raised parts of all the folds in all these clothes and just paint in a, a very sharp, crisp, bright highlight there. I'm going to use Claymore Blade. That's the lighter silver by Army Painter. And this is to highlight up the silver. So on the shoes, there's quite a lot of detail. I'm just catching the the brush along the edge of the detail really pop, making that pop and shine bracelets and just catching the edges where the light would be hitting and then same on those uh, sort of medallions on her necromancer's cloak prison jumpsuit abomination gore this time mixed about two to one so i've ditched the brown now we're going for a brighter highlight and here i'm just catching along the front of those tassels on on her legs and then i'm going to just individually insane detail brush individually paint in all the strands of hair just leaving the dark colour in the recesses between each strand. And finally, I'll add a, a final highlight of Prison Jumpsuit, all by itself, just bright orange, very watered down again. And I'm just going to add that to the tips of the tassels and just the bottom that towards the the uh, the ends of her hair and just bring out a little orange highlight there. Leather browns, just to, just to paint in some bits of um, the sheaths and straps where the, the, the wash had just swallowed those up a little bit. So just bringing the detail back through there. And then bright gold to highlight up the handle of her of her sword, the hilt of that sword, the pommel, <laughs> all all the the swords and daggers bit. And then I'm just painting back in the colour, leaving um, the sort of shade in those circular recesses on that blade. Necromancer cloak just to highlight back up again. This is one of the few places I used a wash, so I'm just highlighting up the edges of all of the the, the the folds. So there's quite big chunky edges. That's really really easy to do, and it looks really really good. I'm going to use bony spikes and that's to paint on the, the string, the wrap around the, the sheath of her dagger uh, and I'm going to edge highlight as well there. For the bone sword, I'm going to use some dry brushing to try to slow this down a little bit for you. So I've got next to no paint on this dry brush as I've explained in a few videos. Check out some of the videos if you've not seen this before. I do go into this but I can't, can't show you every time. You guys must know how to dry brush by now. But yeah, I'm just applying, taking my time tiny tiny bit just lighting that up along the edges and leaving it fading back towards the hilt leaving it a lot darker towards the hilt i'm going to mix necromancer cloak and filthy suit about 50 50 here and that's to highlight the very edges of all of the necromancer's cloak just making that look really it's sort of making that bit pop out it looks great 
I thought the dagger was really, really boring in just gold. So I'm going to add some glistening blood. It does look like in the artwork like there is some glistening blood. So I'm going to add that. Maybe it went overkill there, but you know I don't always add add paint. Uh, I always add paint. I don't always add blood. So it's nice that some models do have a lot of blood. It's just a bit of interesting variety. And I'm just showing you how Sally looks now after I've finished painting that because I'm going to do some stuff that I thought was going to ruin the model. So I thought I'd show you. I think that's really hard to see on video how good that looks. I, I actually think this is one of the best models I've ever painted, but it, not sure it comes across that way on the video. I'm going to add some light denim. This is by the Army Painter from one of the core sets, I think, from the modern day. And it's a light, light blue. And she's got some sort of tribal tramp stamp. She's got some sort of tattoo on, on, a, on a hip. So just painted in two light blue lines there just adding a little bit of detail a bit of interesting uh detail yeah it just just adds to it when somebody picks this model up and you see that you're like whoa you've even done that and she's got also got a light a light blue line across her sort of cheekbone as well so i'm just adding that in there you can see i'm just slowed this down for you and you can see i'm approaching at different angles i'm really taking my time to make sure i don't get it on her nose her eye or or a hairline as well um, after this, I do have to do this off camera, I'm afraid I couldn't show you, but you know what eyeballs look like. So I painted in her eye as well off camera. It was just way, way too small. I in fact, I wasn't even going to paint her an eye in. And I thought, you're going to look, your focal point is her face. So she needs an eye. When you pick this up, you want to see it. So I do that off camera. It's just a little bit of brain matter beige and a dot of black for the pupil. That took me one hour, 20 minutes. And as I said, I think that's really hard to see on the video how good this looks. I'm not sure the contrast works quite as well as using shade. So this is gonna give you a less poppy feel at a distance. I don't think it looks quite as good as when you've used a lot of wash and it really hires the contrast and it makes the model pop from the table. Whereas this model, when you pick it up and look really close, you're like, whoa, that's pretty good. Looks really good, blends really, really well. Looks really, really clean because of that skin, that light skin, that light sword, the light leggings and arms. I think it's really important that I didn't use wash there to make it look incredibly clean. Let me know in the comments what you think below, which technique do you like most? And the next one we're gonna do, we will be using shade, so you'll be able to see the high contrast in comparison, just keep keeping it fresh for you. Thank you all very much for watching.